Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well today. Fall is officially here and I could not be more excited for the season. I do wish that Mother Nature would get the memo though because we are still having hot temperatures here in North Carolina in the high 80s and I'm really looking forward to cooler weather. Even though it hasn't felt like fall outside, it has definitely smelled like fall in my house. Today I have my September 2018 candle and wax empties to share with you. Overall, it has been an amazing smelling month. I did an overall carnival kind of take me to the fair theme. Think candy apples, cotton candy, funnel cakes, donuts, popcorn, kettle corn, all those amazing scents that you would associate with going to a fair or a carnival. And it has been fabulous. Let me know in the comments below what you were melting in September. Did you have any standout favorites? Are you also so glad that it's fall and looking forward to the season like I am? I always love to hear from you. As with all of my empties videos, I will start with the random bits first and then move into the wax and the candles. If you're only interested in a particular portion of the video, I will leave the timestamp to that below. So you can click on that timestamp and it will take you directly to that portion of the video. If you're interested in hearing what I use, melted, and burned this month, let's get started. I finished three hands soaps this month. The first one I finished was Oh Happy Day in Pink Grapefruit Pop. I really like the labels and of this entire collection. I thought it was very, very cute and like pop art kind of look to it. This soap was really nice. This is when I started in August and then finished it the 1st of September. It was a really tart, citrusy, grapefruit, lemon, tangerine kind of smell. Really nice and refreshing to end the summer months. I also finished this nourishing hand soap in Golden Pear. This is one of their honey butter hand soaps. This is one I picked up at the semi-annual sale, I believe. This scent was just okay. It sort of was very generic, just sweet, soapy kind of smell. It actually kind of reminded me of the Mr. Bubbles bubble bath and the pink bottle that like kids use. What For whatever reason, this reminded me of that smell. It was just okay, but not one that I would repurchase. I also finished this not Bath & Body Works soap and the J.R. Watkins lavender. I really, really love this scent. It is a very clean, fresh lavender, but not masculine, and it is pretty realistic. I found this at my local Harris Teeter. I think that they sell it at Target as well, but I think it's a really nice hand soap. It is paraben-free, dye-free, so if you have sensitive skin or you can't use some of like the fragrances and dyes in Bath & Body Works hand soap, this is a nice alternative. And people who use it in my kitchen when they come to visit always comment on, wow, this is just a really nice smelling soap because the scent lingers on your hands for quite a while. So if you've never tried this brand, I do recommend it. I do really like it. I finished, or I should say my partner finished, this body lotion in the Coco Shea Honey. This isn't my personal favorite fragrance of the Coco Shea line. I prefer the cucumber, but this one is nice and sort of just fresh and just a little bit sweet. I finished this scrub in the Bathing Gardens Clowning Around. I have mentioned her scrubs in several videos now. As you can tell, I really, really like them. I love the consistency. I think they're very reasonably priced. If you haven't checked them out, I recommend she sells Bender Wax as well, but her scrub scrubs are really phenomenal. This scent I love in wax. It is caramel apples, popcorn, amazing kind of carnival blend, but I did not prefer it in body care. It was really, really strong. And when you think about it, do you really want to smell like popcorn and caramel apples like on your body? Mm, not for me anyway. So if you like the scent and you want to smell like that, then it is very authentic to the wax. Sort of that summer boardwalk kind of vibe. And it is very, very strong in the body care. For me, I just didn't prefer it on my body, but I still love her scrubs. I used two wallflowers this month and I finished this box of apple crumble. I love this scent. It is just such a nice apple bakery type of scent. I think it's perfect for this time of year. I've been slowing down on the wallflowers that I'm using just because especially in the summer, I really can't smell them with the air conditioning and the fans running and I'm burning candles and melting wax. It's like, how much fragrance do you really need in a house? I do have a lot more that I like to use in the fall because I have a lot of plus that I really like so you'll probably see me start using more wallflowers but this scent you can't get in candle form and I don't want to burn the candle I have so I love that you can still get this in wallflowers so if you've never checked this out I recommend it they sell it online and you can typically wait till the two packs go on sale and get it for a pretty good deal but this is just a really nice scent and I really really wish they'd bring back the candle all right, that is all of the random bits and I'm gonna move on to the wax melts. As I mentioned, I had a really awesome theme for September. It's my carnival, take me to the fair theme. It is a month that I look forward to all year long. For me, it is the perfect transitional theme from summer to fall. It really gets me in the fall spirits. It sort of sets me up for some of those heavier fall 
spicy and bakery type scents and I absolutely love it. The first scent I finished this month was Southbound Soaps Carnival Time. This was her six packs that she used to do. This is an amazing scent. This was one of my top scents of 2017. Sweet cotton candy, caramel apples, blue raspberry snow cones, and fresh funnel cake. That blue raspberry snow cone note I think really sets this apart from the other carnival blends that I've smelled and I've smelled a lot of them and so I really love it. This one is one of the best carnival scents that I've tried. Comparing it to like the bathing gardens, climbing around, this one is more like sugary sweet. This one's also incredibly strong. The strength and throw is like a nine and a half, ten for one of the tarts and the tarts, you know, like this big. So I just melt the whole thing in my 20 watt hot plate warmer and it just lasts and lasts and lasts like over 18 hours plus. Definitely this is a repurchase for me. I already have a clam in it to hold for next year. Highly recommend this scent if you like carnival blends. This one is really, really good and it's unique compared to a lot of the other blends out there. This is also a scent that you can melt today and you can still smell it tomorrow because it sort of just lingers in the air for quite a while. The next scent I finished is this Destination Wax Pralines and Popcorn. This was her six ounce mini cakes bags that she used to offer and I actually just found out today that she's going to be offering these mini cake bags again in the future in a couple of different sizes. So I'm really excited because I love the mini cakes. I think they're just so easy to just pop in your warmer. They're the perfect size. You really don't have to cut them. You just melt it and go. Anyway, I digress. This scent is amazing. It is the perfect buttery popcorn, but also this sweet caramel praline. So that buttery note really is what sets this particular scent apart from other scents. You get a nice amount of that like buttery popcorn, but still really nicely balanced with that sweet caramel. I just love it so much. The Strength and Throw is also great on this one. It's a seven and a half, eight for one mini cake in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. Needless to say, this is definitely one that I've already repurchased and I will continue to repurchase. It's also a really good scent to blend with. I finished this four pack block of Destination Wax Green Apple. Green Apple is a tart fresh apple. It's not crisp and sweet like like a red apple or a mac apple. It's, to me it is nice on its own but it's really nice to blend it with. I blended it with the pralines and popcorn, with caramel scents, with other apple scents. It's really really nice. The Strength and Throw is about a seven and a half for two thirds of a cube in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. I finished this Wax Melt and Kringles Cortland Apple. I know I always say this, but I love their labels. I love the matte finish. I just think they're so well done. This is a crisp, sweet, fresh apple. Not quite like a Mac apple. It's not as sweet and juicy. It's more like a gala. It's a little bit more tart than a Mac apple, but it's still closer to a Mac apple than a green apple. Really nice. I really like their variation on this red apple scent. The Strength and Throw is about a four and a half for a fourth of the melt in my Scentsy Accord warmer. I have I haven't had the best luck with these as far as strength and throw. Some of them perform pretty well, some of them not so much. This one was actually pretty decent considering I've had it for a while. So really nice one. I would consider repurchasing this one. I finished two clams of the bathing gardens clowning around. I actually, this one only had like one, maybe two cubes left in it from last year. And then I finished this entire clam. As you can tell, I really like the scent. It is another one of my top scents from 2017. Creamy, sweet, caramel apple, salty popcorn, just perfection. This one isn't too sugary sweet. It's enough of that like popcorn and the apple note really comes through in this one. It's just excellent. The Strength and Throw is about an eight and a half, nine. It is quite strong for one cube in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. This one is definitely one that I will repurchase year after year. I finished this scent shot in Hayden Rose Carnival. This one is candy apple, caramel, and waffle cone. This one is really yummy as well. You really get a lot Lot of that caramel apple very similar to like cider lane from bath and body works you don't get any kind of popcorn or anything like that in this one but a really nice caramel apple scent the strength and throw is about a seven and a half eight for the full scent shot in my 24 and 20 watt hot plate warmers so basically what i did is i cut the scent shot in half i melted half in my 24 watt hot plate warmer half in my 20 watt the only bad thing about this one is it only lasted about six hours or so it didn't last like all day but it was still a really nice one i finished this little mini melters bag in rose girl monster cookie fluff puffs. This is a really yummy, perfect cookie vanilla marshmallow blend. It is just really, really nice on its own. It's so yummy and like lick the air kind of quality, but it's also a really nice blender. I've mixed it with apple and she's mixed it with like mango. You could do any kind of fruit with it. It's just really, really nice. The Shrink and Throw was a seven and a half for one min mini melter in my Scentsy Accord Warmer. The next scent I finished is Destination Wax Apples and Maple Bourbon. This is fresh apples with bourbon 
bourbon vanilla and a touch of maple syrup. This was a free sample that she had sent me. This scent is not for me. I put it in, it didn't even finish melting, and I was like, whoa, I cannot take it. It was way too sweet for me. Personally, brown liquor, whiskey, and bourbon kind of notes are hit or miss for me. And then I think with the maple, and it was just so sweet. So I actually could not tolerate it, of course, because I could not tolerate it. It was super, super strong. It was like an eight and a half, nine for this one mini cake in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. So if you like maple and bourbon and really sweet scents, give this one a try, especially if you're looking for something really strong. I finished this scent shot cup in Zate County Fair. This is funnel cake, kettle corn, and caramel apple. This was her under the big top sampler that she did, which I love that sampler. This one is a really great carnival scent, sweeter than most. More of the kettle corn and the funnel cake than the caramel apple. The, the apple note itself is definitely in the background. This one is very, 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 very strong. It's like, whoa, kind of strong. It was like a nine and a half, ten for a half of the scent shot in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. And then when I realized it was that strong, I cut the other half in a fourth and that was still like an eight and a half in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. So it was super, super strong. The only thing about this blend is like at times it was, because it was so strong, it was a little bit like too icky for me is the best way I can say it. I think because it's caramel popcorn and then the caramel apples and the funnel cake, there needs to be something like a little salty or buttery to like break up that sweetness. The other thing I wanted to mention here is these thin shot cups. It looks like that she has used the incorrect um, cups here. These are the sixes and you're not supposed to use that for wax. Um, and so they're also very flimsy as you can see. It just, it broke apart uh, when I was trying to like push the wax out. So. I did check some of my other ones and some of these are the correct cups and some of them are incorrect. So just if you bought these samplers, check that because if you do have some of the wax in this particular number in the six, that's what they look like, um, you need to rebag it because it's gonna lose its scent. So just an FYI about that. I finished this clam in Sensational's Caramel Apple Spice. This is a spicy cider lane, essentially. Lots of nice apple pie spice, kind of all spice kind of blend. And then with that caramel apple, it was really, really yummy. I really enjoyed this one a lot. My strength and throw was like a seven and a half, eight for one cube in my bowl warmer and about an eight and a half in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. I do have another clam of these and this is a scent that I would repurchase. I really enjoyed it. This is very well done. I finished this clam in Super Tart Six Flags. This is sugar dusted funnel cakes and sweet fluffy cotton candy. This is a very nice sweet candy bakery blend. I definitely feel like you get a bit more of the funnel cakes and the cotton candy, but the cotton candy is definitely there and present. It's a really nice blend. The strength and throw was an eight for one cube in my 20 watt hot plate warmer and about a seven and a half for one cube in my bulb warmer. So typical super tart performance, medium high to high, very strong. Really enjoyed this one and I would consider getting it again. I finished this clam and super tarts ball game. This is a scent called Cracker Jacks. This one is really, really nice, really yummy. It is a buttery caramel popcorn and you do get something like a nuttiness in the background. Really nice. The strength and throw is about an eight for one cube in my bulb warmer and about an eight and a half in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. This one is definitely repurchased for me. To me, again, that just the balance of the sweetness from a caramel and the butteriness or the saltiness from like the popcorn. And this one had that little bit of like a nutty, kind of made you think of like peanuts and Cracker Jacks. Outstanding. It's also, it's great by itself, but it's also great mixed with an apple scent or other kinds of scents. I just, I love it so much. This was a good one. I finished this clam and super tart Simpsons. This is glazed donuts, root beer, and whipped cream. Another one that I really, really enjoyed. I incorporated some root beer scents this month because you do get root beer floats at like the carnival. This one is really nice. The root beer was really, well balanced by the cream and that donut bakery note. Sometimes root beer by itself can be very strong and a lot of people don't tolerate it as well. But I think that because this is mixed so nicely with the, the donuts and the whipped cream that someone who maybe isn't in love with root beer could tolerate it. But don't get me wrong, the root beer is definitely present. You definitely get it. Um, it does kind of smell like you've got this root beer float and then you kind of have a donut that maybe you're dunking into that. I don't know why you do it, but that's kind of what it smells like. Really, really nice. Really good blend. The strength and throw is about an eight and a half in my bulb warmer and a nine in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. This is definitely one that I would repurchase. The next one I finished is a Super Tarts Killer Clowns. This is Circus Concession, Coconut Shavings, and Home Cooked Biscuits. So in theory, this is one that I thought that I would love. I love Circus Concession scents, obviously, and it's nice. 
but I mostly just got that circus concession kind of scent, but I got a lot of like caramel sweetness. So um, even though it's not stated here, I'm wondering if she also does have extra caramel in this scent. And the biscuits and like coconut, that's just kind of lost to this overarching sweetness. This was very strong though. The strength and throw is but a nine in my bulb warmer for one cube and a nine and a half in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. So super strong, but it's probably actually not one that I would repurchase because it was a little bit too sweet for me, especially when it was melting. I finished this easy melt cup in Yankee Candles Harvest. I love the label on this one. This is like a red hot cinnamon type scent. You get vanilla cloves. There is some like apple and pumpkin, but when I smell it, I do sort of get what I feel like is corn or popcorn kind of scent, but, but but dusted in like spice. It's kind of odd. It sounds weird when I say it like that, but it actually is really nice. And it's not so red hot cinnamon that you're like, whoa, like this is very intense, but it is definitely a spicier hot cinnamon and not like a warm bakery type cinnamon. It's definitely hotter. A nice scent overall. The strength and throw was about a five for the first rotation, but then it just kind of died out and it was only like maybe a two and a half for the second rotation. So it didn't last very long um, and it wasn't super strong to begin with. So I know I say this all the time, but I would love, love, love to be able to get some of these really great Yankee Candle scents in in a form that is strong and performs well. Um, but yeah, we can wish, right? I finished this candy apple in the Bathing Gardens Nights at the Circus. This is caramel apple with crisp red apple, cinnamon, vanilla, and honey caramel. Essentially, this is a Cider Lane dupe. It's that caramel apple, that spice, really nice. This one had a really nice depth to it when it was melting. Not exactly like Cider Lane because it just had like more layers, but very close in the same family for sure. The strength and throw is about a seven and a half or a fourth of the candy apple in my 20 watt hot plate warmer and it was about an eight eight and a half in my 24 watt hot plate warmer so this is definitely one that i will continue to repurchase because i just really like it and i love the little candy apples that she makes they're just too cute i finished the bathing gardens fried candy donut this is berry donuts rolled in pink cotton candy this was a little sample that she had sent me this is really yummy creamy donut bakery scent quite a bit of sweetness a really nice blend. The strength and throw is with a seven and a half in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. I feel like it was stronger this year than it was last year when I melted it, which was a good thing. So I finished this little cake in the Bathing Gardens Victorian Midway. This is spiced apple funnel cake, pumpkin frosting, and cinnamon brown sugar. This one was so yummy, just delicious. This was part of her spring collection, but for me, it's just obviously a fall scent. The spiced apple and the brown sugar were dominant in this blend. Really, really good, really liked it a lot. The strength and throw was about a six for a fourth of the melt in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. I wish it was had been stronger. I would have loved to have this more like a medium high, like really fill, fill the room, and maybe if I had used like half of the melt, it would have done that, but still it was really good and I would repurchase it. I finished this sample in Golden Willow Wax's Draper Lane, or is it Draper Lane? This is a Cider Lane dupe. Um, it did definitely smell like Cider Lane. Unfortunately, it was very, very light. It was a strength and throw about a two and a half, and I feel like I'm being a bit generous in my 20 watt hot plate warmer, and I just really couldn't smell it, so disappointed in that. I finished this scent shot in Golden Willow Wax's Donuts with Draper Girls. This is warm cider donuts dipped in cinnamon sugar. Really like the scent on this one. It came across as this really nice apple cider donut with cinnamon. Kind of sweet, but also a little bit of spice. Really nice. Unfortunately, again, I really couldn't smell it. The strength and throw was about a three for half of the scent shot in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. It had this residue that was left at the bottom, so I'm not sure if that had any impact on the performance. But yeah, disappointed because I felt like this was a really nice scent, but I just couldn't smell it. So let me know in the comments below if you have ever melted golden willow waxes. Do you use a 20 watt hot plate warmer? Is this the kind of wax that needs a really long cure time? Or do you melt this in like a lower wattage warmer? Some wax just seems to work better in a lower wattage warmer. So let me know in the comments below because this is the first time that I've melted this vendor. I finished this Goose Creek wax melt in Mac Apple. Really, really nice crisp red apple. It has this earthy tone to it that I really like. It's not as sweet as like the Bath and Body Works Honey Crisp Apple kind of scent. It's just really nice. Like there, that earthy tone, whatever that is, just sort of makes you think of like the stem and the leaves of an apple tree. But then you still get that juicy, sweet Christmas that you kind of expect when you think of like biting into an apple. It's really, really good Mac apple. I like it a lot. Strength and throw is about a seven and a half, eight for two with little triangles in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. And I use this in my Scentsy Accord warmer and had great luck. I would definitely repurchase this one. I finished this Goose Creek wax melt in caramel apple wood. This is one that I melted last year. Really like this blend. I love the picture that they have there. I just could take a bite of that apple. <laughs> it looks so good. This is a Cider Lane 
caramel apple type scent. This one has a lot more spice than Cider Lane does. It's not like overly spicy in and of itself, but just when you compare it side by side to Cider Lane, you can really pick up on that spice. It's really yummy. Strength and throw is but a seven and a half for two cubes in my 20 watt hot plate warmer, and I will definitely continue to repurchase this one. I also finished this Goose Creek Wax Melt in Apple Cider. This one is wow, like earthy apple spice cider, but it's not red hot cinnamon. It is like a warm comforting kind of cinnamon and it is also super super strong the strength and throw is about like a nine for two cubes in my 20 watt hot plate warmer and about an eight eight and a half in my bulb warmer it was it's just really strong very warm and comforting i really liked it a lot my grandmother also really liked this one as well so i would repurchase this one next year i finished this golden willows snickerdoodle this was another free sample that she sent it is a cinnamon bakery kind of scent again i could not smell it this was even worse than the other two it was like a one strength and throw i mean i literally had to stick my nose right into the dish and just smell it i just got nothing from it whatsoever and i used my 20 watt hot plate warmer so again i don't want to like write off the vendor from my first order but after melting three cents and not having much luck let me know if you've melted this vendor what your thoughts are and how you get the best performance i finished this apple this candy apple in the bathing gardens mr cratchit cider this is cinnamon cinnamon apple cider winter garland and sweet sugar this one is a really yummy cider scent warm spicy and cozy just the right amount of sweetness and not like too much spice the spices aren't spicy hot they are definitely more warm and comforting but different than like goose creek's apple cider it doesn't have that sort of earthy note this one is definitely sweeter it's very well balanced though the strength and throw is about a six and a half for one fourth of the apple and my 20 watt hot plate warmer and definitely would get this again i finished this other candy apple and the bathing gardens whiskey apples this is red fall apples with cinnamon caramel dipped in whiskey this is a sweet whiskey apple toddy it's the best and easiest way for me to describe it but also with caramel so you definitely get that whiskey note which i'm not normally a huge fan of but in this particular scent is tolerable i think it has enough apple that it really balances out that whiskey and i think it only has just a little bit of the whiskey um so it's not like overpowering so this one was tolerable but it wasn't my favorite overall the strength and throw is about a seven for one fourth of the apple and my sensia cord warmer again it was okay but not one that i would repurchase i finished this goose creek melt in lavender which i've melted before this is a really nice earthy herbal lavender which of course i love i love herbal lavender i love Love authentic lavender that smells like nature and this one is really nice very earthy very comforting and calming the strength and throw is about an eight for two cubes in my 20 watt hot plate warmer and about seven in a bulb warmer so this is one that i definitely will continue to repurchase i think i have still have a couple more left though that i'll use up first i finished this the blossom bag and vintage sheet scents nucky's boardwalk this is a circus concession type scent cotton candy caramel apples funnel cake a very sweet boardwalk scent i really enjoyed it i've had this for a long time as you can see it was like a one of her blossom bags so it was quite a lot of wax i've just kind of been melting a little bit over the last couple years so i finally finished it this was really nice mix with a popcorn and an apple scent really really nice the shrink and throw was about a six for like a small chunk in my sense of cord warmer and about a six and a half in my 20 watt hot plate warmer so it wasn't incredibly strong i find that her wax is at its best like three to six months it doesn't get worse as time goes on it ages just fine but i don't think it gets even better and better and better with age like that's just not been my experience personally so i don't let mine cure that long but um this was a nice scent but probably not one that i would repurchase at least like in a big bag maybe a four pack but not like in a big bag again i finished this claim in better homes and gardens at the fair this is spiced caramel corn and cider apple fritters so one side is the spiced caramel corn and the other side is the cider apple fritters this is one that i had finished one last year and then i couldn't find it when i went back to get more and then this year when i was out shopping i found it again so i grabbed two clams that i found so i don't know if they re-released it this year or if this was an old wax that i just happened to find but either way i was happy to find it really really nice blend the caramel corn is not too sweet you definitely get that popcorn aspect that kind of buttery part of the popcorn and then the apple fritter is like apple caramel goodness and then just mixed and blended beautifully like you could actually make Melt each individual column on its own but i do think it's great blended together it's just really really yummy the strength and throw is about a seven and a half for you know one each of these cubes in my bulb or cord warmer and these cubes aren't as big as like your normal cubes are a little bit smaller so they're meant to be blended together so if you can find this one i recommend it it's really 
good. I finished this clamshell in Super Tarts Texas Chainsaw. So this is caramel dip apples, warm hot maple toddy, and just a touch of French baguette. Again, sounds like one that I would really like, but this one was just okay. It was actually too sweet for me. It didn't have enough apple. I think if it had maybe a little bit of extra mac apple, it would have kind of balanced out that maple and the caramel, but it all came together just a bit too sweet, too cloying for me personally. The strength and throw was about an eight for one cube in my bowl warmer. I finished this candy apple in the bathing gardens vanilla dumpling. This was like a free sample that she sent with one of my orders. This one is so yummy. I'm so glad that she brought it back recently, but I think it's already sold out again. It is like this really creamy vanilla dumpling, just a touch of apple. It's delicious. It's such a different kind of smell. It's not your typical vanilla bakery scent. It's the dumpling note in it that's just very different and unique. And it does kind of smell like, it just smells like a dumpling. And it's something like cozy and just a tint spicy about it. I love it. I just love it so much. The strength and throw is about a seven and a half for one fourth of the apple in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. And this is one that I definitely repurchased when she brought it back out and like her apple sampler that she did recently. Really good one. I finished this loaf in the Cookie Monster and Johnny and June Overpour. So it's in a small bag, but this actually was, I think it was a deluxe loaf. As I finished it, I just transferred it to a smaller bag to save space. This one is delicious. Of course, Cookie Monster is this cookie perfection. And then Johnny and June is this jelly donut funnel cake scent. And it is so good blended together. It's like lick the air good. I love it. If I'm craving like bakery, this is really what I want to gravitate towards sweet yummy bakery scent. The strength and throw is about a six and a half seven for like a small chunk in my 20 watt hot plate warmer and this is one that I would repurchase. I actually have a loaf of Cookie Monster and a loaf of Johnny and June so I can kind of make my own blend but I can also melt them separately if I want to. So really recommend these two together if you happen to have both on hand. I finished this four pack coin in Vintage Chic Scent seventh inning stretch. This is root beer float topped with double scoop of vanilla ice cream. Very nice root beer float. You mostly get the authentic root beer but there is a nice amount of vanilla ice cream in this one. A lot of times with root beer float kind of scents, you don't really get much of the vanilla or the ice cream or the cream. The root beer it just dominates. But this one does have a lot of the ice cream. You can actually smell it as a note. So it does really smell like a root beer float. It's nice. The strength and throw was a was about a six, six and a half for one coin spread across two warmers. So I break the coin in half and put a half in one warmer, half in the other. And that was the strength and throw I got for both of those going at the same time. Um, the only thing about this one is it didn't last very long. It only lasted about five hours maybe, which typically I don't have that issue of vintage chic scent. So I'm not exactly sure why this scent did it, but it was still a good scent. I finished this scent shot in Zape's Deep Fried Twinkies. This is Twinkies, waffle cone batter, and sweet fried donuts. This was just an okay scent to me. It's like vanilla bakery creamy and sweet but I've had better blends and I'm not in love with this particular blend the strength and throw is about a five for half of the scent shot in my 20 watt hot plate warmer I finished the scent shot in Zake's tilt a whirl this is funnel cake strawberries and whipped cream this one was really nice probably more appropriate for spring for me because that's when I melt strawberry scents but it was a nice break um, from all the like heavier and sweet scents this one has lots of strawberry but a nice amount of funnel cake in the background the strawberry was somewhat like waxy at times but still pretty good overall. I did enjoy it. The strength and throw was about a six and a half for half of the scent shot in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. And I finished this scent shot in Zape's Ferris wheel. This is kettle corn and saltwater taffy. This is another one that was in the incorrect uh, container. So just again, FYI, if you have the sampler, this one was really nice. The saltwater taffy really balanced out that salty popcorn note. And there was just a nice amount of sweetness. It wasn't overly sweet. It was just really nice blend. I really liked this one a lot. It was kind of sweet and salty. Enjoyed this one. The strength and throw was about a seven and a half, eight for half of the scent shot in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. And this is one that I would consider purchasing again next year. I finished this clam and super tarts New Orleans. This is sugar dusted beignets. This one was an oddly sweet bakery scent. And I say oddly because there was this odd undertone that I just could not put my finger on. I guess it's supposed to be the beignet. Like sometimes when I was melting it, I was like, oh, okay, I think I like this. But for the most part, I was like, mm, there was just this odd undertone that I didn't like, but it was strong. The strength and throw was about an eight and a half for one cube in my 20 watt hot plate warmer and about a seven and a half in the bulb warmer. 
I finished the scent shot in Beezy Tarts apple clove butter. This was the first time that I've melted Beezy Tarts. It was sent to me as a gift, sort of a sample gift that I got from the group that I'm in called the Melt Gala. You should check out that group. It's really great. Uh, this one was really nice. This apple cider spice scent. I didn't really get like a butter note, sort of, I didn't get any kind of nuttiness or like creaminess. It came across to me just like as an apple cider spice, similar to Goose Creek. That warm but spicy apple cider, really nice. Nice. The strength and throw is an eight for a fourth of the scent shot in my bulb warmer and about a seven and a half in my cord warmer. So very good performance. Just based on this one melt, because it did perform well, I would consider making a Beezy Tarts order in the future. Woo. Lastly, but certainly not least, is Empire Alchemy's Rotten to the Core. This is caramel, cider, sticky candy, red delicious apple, green apple candy, and snow white cake pop. Yummy, 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 yummy. This is like apple goodness. You get the tart green apple, but you also get the sweet caramel apple. Just a hint of like a bakery note. Really, really nice blend. It does have a nice amount of sweetness, but it's not overly sweet. The strength and throw is about a seven and a half for half the scent shot in my 20 watt hot plate warmer. The only bad side is it only lasted about five and six hours and then the scent just went away completely. So, and that hasn't been my experience thus far with her wax, but it is still a nice enough scent that I would repurchase it. So, I did enjoy it. Okie dokie, that is all of the wax melts that I finished in September. Overall, a really great smell of month. Let me know in the comments below what you melted in September. If you did watch the entirety of the wax melts portion, leave me a couple purple hearts below just so I can see who actually watches the wax melts portion of the video because I kind of want to see like the people tune into this video for the candles or the wax. So if you watched all of the wax, leave a purple heart below and let me know. If you were just here for the wax, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to rearrange and we'll get started on the candles. It has been an over Overall, a really great candle month for me. I got through quite a few candles, more than I thought that I would actually, and really enjoyed almost everything. The first thing I finished this month is Homeworks Orchard Apples. This is Juicy Apple, Applewood, Vetiver Grass, Succulent Cantaloupe, and Ripened Peach. And I really, really love the scent. It was really, really yummy. Perfect transition from summer to fall. I did pick up some of the melon and the green notes from this, but also that crisp, juicy apple. So the melon, of course, makes me think of summer, and then the apple makes me start thinking of fall. So it was just perfectly blended. Really, really wonderful and beautiful blend. Loved it. The strength and throw was at an eight and a half so it was actually Bath and Body Works kind of strength so really happy with that. The burn was wonderful. This is of course a three wick candle. There is a little bit of sooting as you can see but not bad at all. No puny wicks, no struggling wicks, no weak wicks. I love his three wick candles as far as the performance. They are just always pretty flawless and you can see it burned all the way to the bottom. Very little wax left. No complaints whatsoever. So highly recommend this particular scent. I love it. I probably will pick up another one myself because I enjoyed it so much. I finished this four wick fruit basket candle in farm stand apples. This is green apple, red apple, black cherry, maple, vanilla, sugar cane, and banana leaves. This is the perfect crisp, juicy, red delicious mac apple. Just like that quintessential mac apple scent. Really, really perfect and yummy. Again, I love apple scents all throughout fall, but really love them in September specifically. I think they're just such a nice way to kick off fall. The strength and throw was about a seven and a half, and this one had a good burn. I did have to reposition the wicks after the first two burns because they had kind of like leaned in and moved a little bit. The glue that holds these in aren't as, I guess, strong as the three wicks so they are prone to like move and shift around so just you have to keep an eye on this one this is not definitely one that you should leave the room not that you should do that with any candle but this one particularly you know make sure that you're close by in case the wicks start moving because you don't want to have any kind of accident otherwise the burn really was fine a little bit of residue here but practically no wax left whatsoever really had a nice performance I did burn this one in the basket itself so there was that extra you know conduit for the heat so really like this one glad that I have at least one more of these for next year and I enjoyed it. I finished this Bath and Body Works candle in Harvest Gathering. This was um, from the Marvel collection they had a couple years ago. Harvest Gathering is fresh pick apples, autumn berries, and clove buds. I really, really enjoy this scent. It is a great combination of the apples, the berries, the spice. I think it's just a great fall scent. Some people say it smells like the inside of like a craft store, what you kind of smell when you go into Michael's. And I can see that because it does sort of have a little bit of like a potpourri kind of vibe. But I love 
love it. I burn it every year. It's a great fall scent in my opinion. It's also really strong. The Strength and Throw is an 8. It has an excellent burn. This particular one, hardly any soot, no issues, clean. Look at that. Even the, the wax itself is relatively clean for white wax. Just perfection. They did bring out this scent again this year, thankfully, in the Woodland Collection. So if you didn't get to try it before, you, it is out now. So the next candle I finished is Bath & Body Works Summer Boardwalk. Of course, a quintessential September transitional summer to fall scent for me. This says, like memories of the best summer spent at the beach, car caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salted sweet cream. This is a 2016 version. This is apples, popcorn, caramel, classic scent. Very, very strong. This one is known to have like Defcon 5 status. Strength and Throw was about a nine, nine and a half. So very strong. The burn was good. No issues really. There was a little bit of sooting. This is a faster burner. So it's one that I have to kind of keep my own, make sure that the flames don't get too high. It will burn hot and fast and get there really quickly. So I don't burn this any more than three to four hours at a time. And that really, really helps keep the wax clean and keeps the burn clean. You, If you are burning your candles over three or four hours, that's not recommended. And you really then can kind of blame the candle when you're not burning the candle properly. So if you're burning candles for six to eight hours at a time, especially when it's a fast burner, like you're going to get gross wax, you're going to get sooting, that kind of thing. So I always reiterate to only burn, especially these fast burners, three to four hours at a time. Of course, this is the scent that I will continue to repurchase year after year. The next one I finished is this White Barn Bath & Body Works White Caramel Cold Brew. So this is the Marvel Collection they came out with. So this one sort of has this wraparound label, but it has a real marble label lid. This was confirmed to actually be real marble, so I definitely will keep this as like a coaster or something. I don't know. I have to use it for something, right? The notes on this one are cold brew coffee, sweet cream, buttery caramel with essential oils. I don't know why they keep with that essential oils kick. It's like really make it a make a candle with essential oils for real, but just quit adding it to scents like this. There is no coffee essential oil that I'm aware of. This is a sweet caramel coffee scent. Not super heavy on the care on the coffee. Not really strong on the coffee. To me, I actually get more of that. That kind of background creamy caramel scent. It is similar to Yankee Candles Cafe Al Fresco if you've tried that one. They're not the same, but they're in the same family. So I think if you like one, you're likely to like this one as well. It is a nice scent. This was actually very light though, surprisingly so, especially for a Bath & Body Works candle. The drink that was only about a four. Um, and part of the issue was the burn, it did struggle some. It didn't actually have puny wicks, but it definitely had smaller flames, sort of what I call struggling or weak wicks at this point. I didn't have to cotton ball it or anything like that, but they were just sort of smaller flames overall. It struggled to pull out several times. The wax started to discolor because on this one I did have to let it burn for longer just to try to get a full pull and then that just starts discoloring the wax. Especially toward the end it definitely kind of started losing its scent and it just kind of started smelling burnt and that sort of when all the oils have burned off of the candle you start smelling just the paraffin and it's not a great smell. So unfortunately even though the scent was nice um, it just wasn't a great performer. It wasn't strong so it wouldn't be a repurchase for me. The next candle I finished is Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Peanut Brittle. Wow, this one is amazing. So yummy. Not very often do I feel like a candle lives up to the hype, but people in the candle community have really been buying this one a lot and really liking it. And I can see why because it is amazing. The notes are crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. I was not sure about this one on cold sniff. I was just like, it's okay, but it's not really that great. But I heard so many good things about it. And of course, because it's a new scent, I did want to try it for myself. And I'm so glad I did because it is so yummy when it's burning. To me, it smells like the inside of a Reese's peanut butter cup. No chocolate, this creamy peanut butter sweet filling. There definitely are salty notes in it. Like you pick up that peanut that salty note from the peanuts really balances out the sweetness in this one and I think it's absolutely delicious. I don't get any pumpkins to speak of. There is a creaminess so I'm just gonna call that pumpkin but there's no pumpkin spice and to find something that sort of gives you that essence of peanut butter I think is really cool. I think this would be really cool to have they mix it like a jelly scent or something like make a peanut butter and jelly that would be neat too. I'm strength and throwing this is like an eight and a half nine. It was strong and wonderful Cool. Well, let me show you the cute little lids they have on this one. I love that pumpkin lid. The burn was also wonderful on this one. No issues whatsoever. No puny wicks, no struggling wicks, no weak wicks, no sooting hardly either. It was very clean, very nice, 
really really good one um, highly recommend this one if you like a peanut butter kind of scent this is definitely like an edible foodie scent I really really love it so definitely we'll be picking up some backups of this one the next one I finished is this Bath and Body Works berry pumpkin strudel this is from a couple of years ago I love that blue wax this one is sweet blueberry, baked apple, blackberry, pumpkin spice, and puff pastry. And really, really hope that they bring this scent back out because I think I've only got one left after this one now. So you get the sweet berries and the apple spice and it definitely comes across as like a baked or cooked fruit, not like raw and fresh fruit, but like a cooked fruit. Like you've simmered the apples on the stove and they've kind of gotten soft. Ugh, so yummy. The name strudel was a bit misleading because I don't really get like a bakery aspect. I don't really get like a strudel. Like maybe there's a little bit of something like pastry in there, but mostly I get that sort of cooked fruit, a little bit of spice, sweetness, yumminess, deliciousness. The strength and throw is about an eight. So wonderful on that. The burn on this one was actually really good as well. These have been inconsistent even for my own burns. I've burned some. They've been great. I've burned others and they haven't been as great. This one happened to have a great burn. I did keep it in a hurricane the entire time because I knew that the other ones I had burned, some of them had issues. So this one did want to struggle at first. So I just let it burn. I did let it burn like over three to four hours and get that full pull kept it in the hurricane. Don't trim the wicks on this one because then you will cause your own issues. Um, but once it got past that first little bit, then it was fine and I didn't have any other issues with it. So um, really nice. You can see how like smooth and clean it looks in there. Really happy with this one. Love it. I hope they bring it back. Keeping my fingers crossed. So I'm going to make a, a plea to Bath and Body Works to bring this back. The next one I finished is this pumpkin donut shop. And this one surprised me in a good way. The notes are sweet bakery air, vanilla glaze, fluffy cake donut, and pumpkin spice. And this one also has the cute pumpkin lids. This one was on cold sniff like, mm, I was kind of like could take it or leave it. But burning, it was like partly this like doughy bread note and partly a sugared donut with pumpkin spice. So it really kind of came together for me as like a pumpkin spice cronut. So if you don't know what a cronut is, it's like a croissant donut. That's what this reminded me of. It was just delicious. The strength and throw for me was about a six and a half and even seven at times. This one actually had a better throw, but wasn't like super, super strong. So it did have a bit of a subtlety to it. It's much better than I expected though. So I had it in my office and I could smell it outside into the hallway, even into my master bedroom, like, and even creep into the living room. So it actually performed really well for me. As far as the burn, it did struggle the first two burns. So basically when they pour candles, they'll pour the candle and then it will kind of have like a dip in it. So they have to then pour the top of the candle, which is called the over pour. So the very first two burns were probably the over pour and that one did struggle. So I have to say, if you get this, you're like, well, wow, it's struggling. It's not even pulling out. Just be patient, put it in a hurricane, put it in a sleeve because it will conduct the heat a little bit better. And then once it got through those first two burns and it corrected itself, I had no issues. The burn like completely changed and it was wonderful. I didn't trim the wicks at first, but then afterwards, like from here down, I did have to trim off the little mushroom top. Um, so just be beware that it, you know, if you get it, it might struggle the first two, put it in a sleeve, be patient, but then it should correct itself and I didn't have any other issues. So again, this one really surprised me, really enjoyed it. This is an online exclusive, so you can only get it online. As far as I know, it's still available to purchase. So I definitely feel like it is one if you're gonna make an online purchase to check it out because I did enjoy it. The next candle I finished is Homeworks Ooey Gooey Salted Caramel. I love the packaging on these. The scallop edge on these lids, it looks like a carton of ice cream. I just think the packaging is so well done and cute on these. The notes are salted caramel, maple syrup, honeyed nuts, warm butterscotch, butter toffee, and dark brown sugar. And if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you're probably thinking, oh, that's gonna be too sweet for her. And you would be right for the most part because that's exactly what I thought. I'm like, oh, this one is gonna be so sweet. I'm not gonna be able to tolerate it and it is very sweet it is sweet so it's a very sweet scent but it is a buttery salted caramel you do get that butteriness you do get that saltiness I did pick up maple and I did pick up like this nuttiness but surprisingly it's not 
overpoweringly sweet. It was tolerable. I'm not gonna say I loved it because I definitely didn't. It definitely is not a fave. It's definitely not one that I would repurchase, but considering that I'm normally very against like pure caramel scents, I was actually surprised how well I tolerated it. Toward the end of the three hours, I started getting that kind of like, ugh, it was getting too cloying. It was it kind of giving me that icky feeling that super sweet scents can do sometimes. But then when I would relight it the next day, I was like, okay, this is again tolerable. The strength and throw was with a seven, seven and a half, so it was medium high, nice and strong. The burn was good. No puny wicks, no tunneling, no weak wicks, nothing like that. It did have some sootiness, as you can see, like quite a bit actually. You can see it burned itself out, hardly any wax left. Again, just really recommend his three wick candles. They have performed phenomenally for me overall. I finished, or rather I didn't finish this country candle, salted caramel apples. So I had this candle last year and I tried to burn it and I did not like it because it was too sweet. So I held it over again. I tried to burn it again this year and it is too sweet. All I get is caramel, 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 and not really much apple. It's very cloying, very icky. It gave me a headache like almost instantly. The strength and throw is about a seven, seven and a half. You can see this is his, the two wick country candles. Um, it's not burned very much. If you want me to send you this candle, I will because I'm not gonna hold it anymore. I don't wanna keep it. I don't like the scent. So the first person to say, I want it, will get it. You will have to message me on Instagram or Facebook, your address, and I will get it mailed off to you. So the first person down below to say, I want it, will get it. So I finished quote unquote, this Homework Citronella flower. I've talked about these in previous videos. Farm Stand Citronella, Citronella, Lemongrass, Lemon Zest, Geranium, and Sheer Vetiver. Really beautiful scent, a beautiful Citronella, like not, not chemically like most of them are. Unfortunately, as what happened with the last one that was orange, it did the same thing. I had one burn that was successful, and then the second time I lit it, it did this and it went out. So this was a trend with the orange flower so at this point I could not recommend buying the orange ones um, and if I had only bought the orange ones I would kind of assume that they all perform this way but my pink and yellow ones um, have not performed this way they they performed better so I think this was just a, a, a batch issue I think this was a manufacturing error because obviously the wick is way too far up and it's just not working properly so can't recommend the orange ones but the scent is nice I finished this box of the Homeworks Harvest Leaves Tea Lights. I had these from last year, and so I had just like six left that I went ahead and finished. Spice Pumpkin, Mandarin, Cranberry, and Apple Puree. This is an amazing scent. You get the cranberry, the pumpkin, the apple, vanilla, just a hint of spice. There's also something a little bit earthy about it that I really enjoy. These burned really well. No tunneling. They burned all the way out. Really impressed with how these performed. And a fair amount of scent. I would do three at one time because they came with like the little uh, acorn mercury glass votives and so I would burn three at a time and so the strength and throw for three of them was about a three so pretty impressive um, I did like these and I would get them again if they were at a decent price the next candle I finished is Bath and Body Works caramel apple I really love the label on that that looks so good the notes are Granny Smith apple slices, warm golden caramel, and cinnamon vanilla cream. And these have this sort of plaid lid. This was a really nice scent. Not a Cider Lane dupe. Some people were saying that it was. This one is a green tart apple and a buttery caramel. So really what makes it different than Cider Lane is that this has that green tart Granny Smith apple. And it is a very different smell than a red apple or Mac apple or Gala apple. So very different. Uh, it has a bit of a tartness. And then it really had this very buttery creamy kind of caramel that was really really nice it was sweet but it wasn't too sweet and it didn't have much spice at all especially when it was burning so it really did smell like a caramel apple it was really nice something different than cider lane so i really liked it the strength and throw was about a seven seven and a half typical bath and body work strength and throw the burn was good they were kind of medium flames toward the end they did start getting a little bit smaller but they weren't really puny wicks they just started kind of getting weak toward the very end you can kind of actually see there that line where they started getting weak um, not very much sitting at all so I actually really enjoyed this one surprisingly and I think I actually would purchase another one of these to hold over for next year because it was quite enjoyable the next one I finished from Bath and Body Works is apple cinnamon cider the notes are cinnamon dusted apples warm cider fresh nutmeg and clove it is a spicy scent but it and it definitely is heavy on that cinnamon and clove but it does have a good amount of the apple cider itself and like the mulling spice so it has like the warm spices 
but it also has the spicy spices. It is nice and I did enjoy it, but it is nothing like super special. It's not like breaking the mold and some like great scent. I mean, it's an apple cider scent and it's not the best I've ever had, but it was still enjoyable. If you don't like spice at all, if you're especially if you don't like like a little bit of a spicy cinnamon, you probably won't like this one or be able to tolerate it. The strength and throw was about an eight. This one was a fast burner. You can see there is a lot of soot there. So watch your flames on this one. Definitely don't let it burn over three hours. I would even say maybe two to three hours. I kept my eye on this one a lot. The flames got really hot, really big, really fast. So make sure you keep your eye on this one and even me keeping it down to like two, three hour burns, you can see how much soot it put off. These faster burners just do that. And they had like the large mushroom tops. Overall, I did enjoy this one, but it's not one that I feel like I need to pick up another one. It's sort of a one and done for me. I finished this box of Yankee Candle Tea Lights and Soft Blanket. I've said this in so many videos, but I really do enjoy Yankee Candle's Tea Lights. I feel like they're very consistent performance. They don't tunnel down right through the middle. They, they pull out. You feel like you're getting your money's worth and they do put off a nice amount of fragrance. I feel like these soft blanket tea lights were stronger than some of the other tea lights, even more so than like a large jar actually. So really like their tea light. I really love this scent. It's very cozy and relaxing, especially for like bath time and night time. So I will definitely continue to purchase their tea lights. And lastly, I finished this Homeworks by Harry Slatkin Pumpkin Caramel Corn. This is one of the candles in the Fall TSV Trio. The notes are buttery crackle caramel, pumpkin spice, and fresh popcorn. So this is actually a scent that I was really excited for when I saw it pop up online. And for me, I love popcorn and kettle corn type, fair type scents. Anyway, I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be for me. So this is really somewhat disappointing for me because it wasn't like I expected. This one actually was super icky sweet caramel. I didn't pick up any butter. I didn't pick up any salty note that I would expect to sort of balance out that sweetness and like kettle corn. It did end up kind of smelling while it was burning like burnt caramel popcorn. If you've ever burnt popcorn in your microwave or on your stove top, you know what that smells like. It's like very off-putting and something about this just smelled like burnt caramel popcorn because I still could get that sweetness but then I sort of got this burnt popcorn note. I didn't pick up any spice, like so the pumpkin per se, I didn't really pick that up. There was some creaminess, but really I couldn't even attribute that to pumpkin. That could just be from the caramel. And there just probably wasn't enough popcorn. It was just so much more caramel than necessary in my opinion. This candle was actually sweeter than the ooey gooey salted caramel for me. And maybe that's because in the ooey gooey salted caramel there was that salty note, there was that buttery note that kind of balanced out some of that sweetness. But I enjoyed the ooey gooey salted caramel more than this one, which was surprising for even me. This one was a disappointment for me as far as the scent. The strength and throw on this one sort of waxed and waned throughout the life of the candle. It was from like a four, four and a half, five, five and a half. So I guess on average you could say like four and a half, five. Sometimes it was lighter than that. Sometimes a little bit stronger than that. As far as the burn, it did struggle at the beginning. This is my second four wick candle where it has had weak wicks. I wouldn't call this one puny. It never got to the point where there was wax but up on the sides or it was trying to tunnel. It did pull out every time, but the flames were just sort of small, especially at the beginning. Toward the middle of the candle, it did better. The flames became more medium sized. And then a little bit farther down, it sort of became weak wicks again, and then it picked back up. So the wicks on this weren't as weak or puny as the cranberry pumpkin cake candle, but they did still have some struggles. And I think if you're anticipating that you're gonna have this flawless burn, again, I just have to forewarn you that you may have some puny or struggling wicks with these four wicks. I think like I mentioned in another video, I have a lot of experience now with his three wick candles, having burned like 15 to 20 plus, and have never had an issue with any of those three wick candles. I've burned two four wick candles now, two completion and both have had some weak wicks. So I'm definitely going to continue to burn. I have lots of the four wicks to get to. I'm not 
ruling out his full works. I'm not throwing the towel in. I just want to make sure if you've been watching my videos and you see that I've talked so positively about Homeworks candles, just make sure you're noting that all the other candles I've burned previous to this have been three wick except for the cranberry pumpkin cake. The issue at the bottom here is me. I picked it up before it had solidified to, to move it to a different location. So that part was me, but it did burn itself out. There is quite a bit of wax left in there. Not a huge amount of wax. It's not some big issue, but compared to his three wicks where there is hardly any wax left whatsoever, like here, look, I mean, you can see the wick clips. There is hardly any wax and that is consistent for all of his three wicks. You can see again, the wick clips. You definitely cannot see the wick clips here. This candle in general, not a win for me. I think if you like super sweet candles, you might like this one. For me, I, I wouldn't recommend this particular scent of the trio. Okie dokie, that is it. That is all of the wax and candles that I melted and burned in September 2018. Let me know in the comments below what you've been melting this month. I do always love to hear from you. I do want to say that I apologize if I've been slower to comment or respond to your comments. I do read them. I just haven't had as much opportunity to respond, but I do plan on responding to everything. So just know that whenever you comment, I do read them. I do look at them. I do try to like them or heart them or whatever. Um, but I know I will come back and comment. So if there is a bit of delay, just please be patient with me. I am definitely looking forward to moving right into October fall scents. I'm going to be doing a lot more pumpkin this month. Still doing some apple, but a lot of pumpkin because I think October is pumpkin month in my opinion. Let me know in the comments below if you're kind of team apple or team pumpkin, or if you're more like me and your team both. If you like this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to see other videos like this, please subscribe. Of course, I do a monthly empties video every single month. I also have Homeworks, Bath and Body Works, fall and winter hauls coming up as well as some vendor wax. I'm going to do a bathing garden haul, things like that. So if you're interested in those, please subscribe if you haven't already. I always appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye!